Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made my prom dress in two days. And just a note, I have never made a dress before. So let's head to the store to buy some supplies. The first thing I did was I traced out a halter top pattern on a piece of gift wrap paper and you can easily do this by just taking an old halter top you have and making a pattern out of that. I then placed it onto my fabric and my fabric was folded in half so that I would have two pieces at the end. Here I'm just trimming off the excess because I didn't cut it perfectly even. Next I cut out the straps at 1.5 inches by 62 inches. And if they are too long, then you can cut them off afterwards, but it's always better to have more than left. I ended up ironing both straps down before sewing them. I did a 2 8 inch seam allowance from the folded edge, and then I also sewed another line right next to it, which was 1 8 an inch away, just because my fabric frayed very easily. I trimmed off a bit of the excess fabric just to make it easier when turning it around. Next, I took a needle and some strong thread and secured it with a few knots at the end. I then took the needle and threaded it through the bottom corner of the strap and fed the needle through the tube. This is a very tedious process and the hardest part is feeding the front part through the tube, but once that's done, it gets a lot easier and it just takes a lot of time and patience. It actually ended up taking me approximately 2 hours to do the first one and then another hour for the second one. So if you have a loop turner, I would definitely suggest using it. I cut out six mini pieces that were two inches long from one of the long straps I had and the two long straps ended up being a meter each. I folded the mini pieces in half and then lined three of them up on one edge, which will end up being the strap holders that you can loop your one long strap through and I did the same with the other side as well. I pinned the two long straps to the top corners of the top and then I grabbed the other part of the top and with the right sides facing together I pinned everything in place. I probably should have mentioned this earlier but I've been using a straight stitch to sew all my pieces together. I left a gap about 4 inches wide just to ensure that I am able to easily flip the top inside out once I'm done sewing it. Once you reach one of the corners of your fabric, with the needle still in, you lift the foot up and pivot the entire piece. From there you can continue sewing. And one tip when you're sewing on the straps in the mini straps. Just make sure to go slow to ensure that everything lines up properly. So it looks like I only ended up making the hole around 2-3 to three inches wide and then I flipped the garment inside out. I then pressed the top down with an iron to ensure that it lies flat. Moving on to the skirt, I took measurements for how long I wanted it to be as well as how high I wanted the slit to be. I cut out two panels for the skirt, one for the front and then one for the back at 102 centimeters in length and 160 centimeters across. Of course I was going to add pockets to my dress so I traced out my hand on a sheet of paper and cut out four of these shapes. On the lengthwise edges of the skirt, I sewed a rolled hem before attaching the pockets. I measured 4.5 inches down from the top edge of the skirt, and then I placed one of the pockets and sewed a straight stitch down. I then flipped the pocket back over and sewed another straight stitch down to give it a cleaner finish. I followed these exact same steps for the other three pieces. With right sides facing each other, I went ahead and sewed a straight stitch down and then around the pockets and back down again. 
I went back to the pockets and sewed a zigzag stitch to prevent fraying. Next, I measured out the slit and so what I did was I divided the length measurement by 3 and measured that all the way up and cut it from there. With right sides together, I sewed the slit 11 inches from the top. I also did a rolled hem for the unfinished parts of the slit. For the front panel of the skirt, I sewed a basting stitch all the way across, and then I also sewed another one right next to it, just to ensure when I am pulling it together for the ruffling effect that it doesn't break. I repeated the same thing on the back panel as well. I cut out the two waistband pieces and then sewed the two edges together with a straight stitch. Pulling the bobbin threads together, I ruffled the skirt to the same measurements as my two waistband pieces. I pinned the waistband to the skirt and sewed a straight stitch right below the two ruffled lines. After that, I ironed the waistband in half and then I folded over the edge and sewed it with a straight stitch right over the ruffled edge. When sewing the waistband down, I suggest using a 1 8 inch seam from the edge to ensure a clean finish. You also want to make sure that you don't sew the entire waistband closed. What I did was I only sewed the long part of the waistband first and then I attached the elastic band and then proceeded to sew the shorter end of the waistband closed. I measured out a piece of elastic that was the size of the shorter piece of the waistband plus a 2 cm seam allowance on each side. I then threaded the elastic through the long part of the waistband and zigzagged it closed on each side. This is what it should look like once it's done. I now went ahead and sewed the rest of the waistband shut. The final step is to hem the bottom of your skirt. And here is the finished skirt. Also, don't mind my terrible photoshopping in the next picture. Thanks for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it.